as you read them, it was like, I don't know, I, I, everything, just, it's like the world just stopped and, and it's like, okay, this is what we've been wanting to hear all this time and, but yet I couldn't tell you what the charges were once he walked out of the room. Grandparents speaking for the first time today about the charges they have been waiting more than a year for. Former Chandler mom Lori Vallow is now charged with the murders of her two children, JJ and Tylee. She and her husband Chad Daybell called to court today. He is also charged with murdering the kids and his first wife. Kim Powell has been covering this story for the last couple years and is the only local reporter in Idaho tonight. Joins us live after speaking with JJ's grandparents today. Kim. Yeah, JJ's grandparents say this has been a roller coaster of emotions. On one hand, yesterday was JJ's, or it would have been JJ's ninth birthday, and of course they say it's hard without him here. On the other hand, they say they're thrilled to finally see some charges come down. And you can almost take a, a, a breath, and you know now it's real. Kay and Larry Woodcock have said for the last year and a half, they're in a marathon. They were the ones who sounded the alarm after not hearing from their grandson, seven-year-old JJ, for months. His mother, Lori Vallow, started ignoring the request to talk to him. At the time, they didn't even know she moved from Arizona to Idaho. After issuing a welfare check, Lori lied to police and then moved to Hawaii with her new husband, Chad Daybell. That's according to court documents. All of this sparked a massive investigation that gripped the nation. And it ultimately led to JJ and his sister Tylee's bodies being found buried in Chad's backyard in Idaho. I think it's time for one of them to start singing like a, a canary. Now, almost a year after the bodies were found, a grand jury indicted Lori and Chad on conspiracy and first-degree murder charges. Every little major step <clears throat> has meant something positive. But I think yesterday was that significant step forward where the grand jury has spoken. Chad and Lori both briefly appeared in front of a judge this morning, but Lori's initial appearance got pushed back to a future date. Based upon the information that was provided to the court, the court is going to continue this initial appearance uh, based upon the information that was provided to me, and um, we will set this for a time and date certain in the future. Still, Kay and Larry say they're ready to continue on this marathon, as there is still a lot to learn. I've said from the beginning that there's more people involved in this than just Chad and just Lori, by far. And, and if you're going to convict those two, then there's other people that need to be brought to account. Now, Kay and Larry say next on their radar is Chandler, Arizona. That's where Charles Vallow, that's Kay's brother and Lori's previous husband, that's where he was shot and killed right before the kids disappeared. Reporting live in Idaho, I'm Kim Powell for Arizona's Family.